Welcome to the ITDVDs.com YouTube channel. This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. If you would like to see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Now let's begin the sample. So now that we've created a virtual machine, let's take a look at the files that are actually created on the data store that make up a virtual machine. So I'm just going to go over here to one of my data stores, right click, and click Browse Data Store. I'm going to click on the folder for Server01. You can see there's a folder for each of the virtual machines we created. So here are all the files associated with Server01. We've got a VMX file, VMDK file, an NVRAM, some log files, another VMDK file, VMXF file, VMSD file, and VSWP file. The most important file is going to be the VMX file. This is your main configuration file for your virtual machine. It has all the configurations like hardware configurations, you know, how many NICs are in this virtual machine, how much memory it has, how many virtual CPUs. All of that configuration goes into this file. The next most important file is going to be the VMDK file. These are your virtual disks. And some other important files are going to be NVRAM. And this is the file that actually stores the state of the virtual machine's BIOS. Then we've got some log files here. The log files are important for troubleshooting. It actually logs important events associated with this virtual machine. The next file down here is the VMXF file. And this file isn't actually used with ESX. It's just uh, put here for compatibility with VMware Workstation. The .vmsd file. This is uh, holds metadata for snapshots. So if we have snapshots of the virtual machine, which we're going to talk about later on, the metadata is held in this particular file. This file, the VSWP, this is the swap file for the virtual machine. It's created when the virtual machine is powered on. And the reason it's created is because if we exhaust all the memory in our ESX server, then this swap file is going to be used for this virtual machine's memory. So that's why the size of it is actually equal to the amount of memory in the virtual machine minus any memory reservations we make. So these are all the files that compose a virtual machine. Depending on if you have snapshots or not, uh, you may see more files in here, but this is the basic setup for a virtual machine. 